good morning to you. Hope you're okay. Hello, good morning. Hello, my t-shirt even says hello today. New t-shirt, new weather, new light nights. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> A little sneeze there. Excuse me. So I'm just going to skip the ads and say good morning again. Hope you're all right. Happy spring, happy um, light nights and happy nice weather and hope you're okay. You might have watched me from half past ten if you might not have done. So hi if you're back, hi if you're new. I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to try not to do what I did in the first class and shut my phone down. Well, I didn't shut it down. I just like closed the phone. Oh, look. Oh, I've hardly made a mess on my paper from um, this morning so far. So let me see who's on now. Um, I've done something to my screen. Ah, that's it. I've got my comments back where I need them now. <laughs> my com I, I moved my comments somehow and, and it didn't it wasn't sitting right with me so um i'm expecting only a few on today because of the beautiful weather but thank you thank you to those of you who are on um and and hello to those who are watching on replay hope you've enjoyed the lovely weather um you're back Kath. hi maria hi karen so today this is round 10 week two we've got one more week of it being at 11 and then the last two weeks it'll go back to half past 10 so just to sort of forewarn you about that um so today we are going to make this card that i showed you last week and i know i haven't got all the bits for this um I've just not got the rhinestones because I ran out. So I'm going to use something else. But well, this is what we are making today. And I'm just going to get all my bits and bobs out. I cased this card. I'm always I'm casing, casing like mad at the minute, which means sort of basically copying, but sort of changing things up a bit. Um, I think it was Mary Fish that I cased this from and um we are using the papers today and i've not got my papers out oh hi christy nice for you to be on so i've not got my papers out but that's all good i can go get them um so what you've got we've got a mossy meadow card base and then we're going to use some of the lovely floral gallery um paper and then you should have a piece of quite a big generous piece of whisper white which is just for stamping your flower but i've allowed enough room if if one's a bit dodgy um so you've got enough room for two i would think on there um we're only doing one flower you've also got like a little portion of um the embossing folder let me show you where this is in the catalog It's part of the suite that we're using. So we're on page 32. Now remember this catalog does run until the end of June. Um, it was just the big catalog that's got retiring stuff in at the moment. It's this here painted texture. And as you know, it's really, really hard, isn't it? To photograph things for you to get the full benefit of them and this embossing folders no exception um to that and it is really nice let me see if i've got it to hand she's now rattling through her embossing folders so it's one of the um a6 size ones so this portion was only you know part of the size just to give you an idea and as you can see from um everybody's a bit different because obviously i've cut them down and put them in different parts of the embossing folder but it's it's just like you've sort of 
sort of plastered the wall uneven um but it's i love it it reminds me of sort of old um anaglypsed walls but in a trendy way if that makes sense so i'm just going to grab my papers Sorry about that. I was trying to see if I had any paper left that I didn't have to cut up and I think I found a piece. So I'm using these papers are just I don't know if you've seen, there's some videos I shared. Oh, hi, Suze. There's some videos. Hi, Monica again. Hi, Kay again. Hi, Barb. There's some videos I shared on my paper haven and in my customer group about how they painted these with, like, proper oil paints. And this one I just love. And you can, you can just see, you can see the texture on the papers. And I know Kath, who's watching, will, like, look, she loves colours and she loves the papers and she says I always love how you put your colours together Julie but I get them from the papers you know the, the, the just oh this is the one this one here you can just see it 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 just looks 3d does the, the paper it's just gorgeous so this is the piece we're going to use on the back it's got that okay so you've also got some twine from the snail mail and you've got one of these little die cuts okay if i i don't know i can't remember for the people who got bought the dies i may have just put you a piece of card in for you to cut that yourself or i may have cut it for you i cannot remember what i did a few weeks ago so i'm just going to measure my paper okay right so we're going to cut this and it's 8.5 this way so that means it's two centimetres shorter than the card by 12.8. So I always come in a centimetre or two centimetres. So it's 8.5 by 12.8. Okay. And you're going to get a big one centimetre border then all the way around. And I'm liking having a bigger border. Okay. And it's, we're just going to piece it that's going to go there like that okay and again I made that small because I didn't want to cover up too much of the lovely papers we're going to stamp a flower then our sentiment will go here like this okay so let's do some stamping you will need a mat now for this one because it's a photopolymer stamp set um so we need our mat I'm gonna grab mine. Here we go. And let's grab the stamp set and the ink pad. So we're using Flirty Flamingo. And again, we're gonna use these two larger images. And I'm doing it, I'm thinking of you card, because I think sometimes we need those and they're nice to have in. They're not, not always the nicest circumstances to have to send an I'm thinking of you card but if you want to do happy birthday then you can do happy birthday but I just like to mix when I make these cards I like to mix it up a little bit so I'm not making all happy birthdays and things just to show you sort of different yeah so I've just put my blocks my stamps on the blocks right now, like last week, we can experiment with the colours of this. Your ink pads are probably very juicy. Um, and what I'm going to do is, my ink pad's been used a lot. You can see it's faded in the middle. So I'm going to stamp with the full stamp, the solid one, not the accent one. 
and I'm going to stamp it here like that. Now that's quite dark, so I think I'll stamp it again here. I might even get three on here. I'm going to stamp it again here and see how light it is. Now, I like that. That's what I want to use. Okay. So I'm going to take my accent one. And I'm not going to stamp it off this time. And I'm going to line it up now. It's hard to do this without getting my head in, in the shot on the um, video. There we go. So it just gives it a little bit of accent. And I'm going to use this one. Because I felt like that one's too dark. Now I'm going to cut this out. For those of you who've got the dies, you can use your die for this. But I always like to do it um, for people who didn't purchase the dies. So I'm just going to cut mine out. And I'm going to leave a little bit of white space. And as you can see, I don't really move the scissors. I move the, the card with my left hand. So I've got two Australian ladies on today. Ooh, that's amazing. If you could do a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it on the video. I haven't put up a Facebook Live today um, and I thought, oh, should I do one because the weather's so nice, but then I thought, no, I will do one, so I'm going to pop that on in a bit. So I've just cut that out like that. Now, on my original card, I have done heat embossing here. So I've stamped the th I'm Thinking of You in um, Versamark. And then I've embossed with white embossing powder to make it stand out. I appreciate not everybody has that. So I am going to see oh, another Australian lady. Hi, Amanda. Um, I'm going to stamp it with Flirty Flamingo. I'm not going to stamp off because I want, I want it to be dark because I'm stamping the same colour onto the same colour. And I'm going around the edge of my ink pad where there's more ink. See, we'll see how this looks. There we go. You see, you can still see it. You can still read it. There we go. You can still read that, can't we? So it's time to assemble. I think, feel like I should have brought a cold drink here with me today. I've made a boo-boo there. Got some Diet Cokes at home and uh, should have brought one. Okay, I do love these papers. And then I'm going to pop the gorgeous embossed piece. Hi Vicky, are you in Australia too Vicky? I think, oh hi Margaret, I think I'm catching more people in Australia because our clocks have changed. I know in Australia you call it something like daylight savings, I think, because I've got a really good friend in Australia and, well I've got a few, um, and our clocks went forward an hour. So it's now quarter past 11, but it, it would normally have been quarter past 10 now, so... That's why I think I've got more Aussie, Aussie, Aussies on. <laughs> you see, I did remember, Vicky, that you're from Australia. Right, so that's stuck on there like that. I'm going to stick the flower on an angle. So that's the correct way up. So if you think of it like a clock, that's like 12 o'clock. So I'm going to turn the flower so it's like sort of 10 to. hope that makes sense. Ah, you're putting your clocks back this weekend. And um, this is going to sit here 
like that, but this is going to be raised up. Okay, so I'm going to glue the flower down at Tentle. I was talking to my neighbour, the one who um, I'm going for a cuppa to in a sit in a garden. We're allowed to go. For those of you in Australia, we've had really strict. We're still in a national lockdown. Um, we're on day 372. Can you believe it? Um, and um, but I will say, lockdown doesn't um, without getting too political or um, comp controversial lockdown for many people has not been the same as it has for others but um anyway we are still in the national lockdown but from yesterday we were allowed to go and sit in people's gardens or meet up outside with up to six people but still socially distanced and um, so i'm going for a cup of tea in my neighbor's garden um i've never been in their garden or they've never been in ours um, and their little boy is my best friend really is three and a half and of a baby that was born in lockdown as well and she put him to bed on Sunday night and he said um, mummy why am I going to bed when it's still morning because <laughs> it was light <laughs> I thought that was cute so um, what I've done is I've oh yeah I've um, I'm putting these together and I'm going to tie it in a bow with them together so I'm going to do two loops it's quite tricky when you've got sort of two but if you line them up so I'm doing two loops like that okay then I'm crossing the one on the right over the one on the left and it's almost like you've got two ears and a little face there and that one that's now on the left is going to go through the back and through the hole at the front we get a double little bow like this. Now, I keep saying, this twine, it, honestly, I'm going to show you where it is in the catalogue. Because people are put off. If they don't like the snails, a lot of people look past that page. If you don't like the snails, oh, I don't like that. But this is this twine, okay? And you get two reels with 13.7 metres on each for £6.50, okay? Now, it, I've used it with, the, look, I've used it with the strawberries, yeah? I've used it here with the art gallery. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've used it with. I think I've used it with the perennials. I've used it with all sorts. It, I've used it with the ice creams. It goes, oh, bye, Monica. Um... Oh, no, sorry, bye, Carol. Carol's, Monica's not going, Carol's going. Bye, Carol, thanks for tuning in. So I've used it with all sorts. So I'm just going to, so I've now got a lovely little bow. Okay, now you may need, you will need a glue dot for this if you've got one, or if you haven't, then we might be able to trap it down with a foam pad. But glue dots are worth purchasing for gluing like ribbon and things down. All right. So that's going to sort of stick there. And I'll show you what they look like. They come in a little box like this. And they come on a little roll. And I don't know if you can see, they look like mini contact lenses. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I take my um, bow to the glue dot, press it down on it, and then pull it up and it should come off the... Um, roll and then I'm going to pop it down on here and it's stuck, it's amazing ok so that's going to go like that and then that's sort of going to sit there like that with some foam pads probably going to use the thin foam, the small foam pads for this but you could cut down the edges of the um, bigger ones yeah, Fiona, the twine is amazing. Oh, hi, Ali. Okay, so for my ladies, I don't have much, unless the sale stuff comes before Thursday, which it could do. I don't have much for collection this week. However, on Friday, I'm not coming over on Friday because it's Good Friday um, to Farsley. But I'm 
thinking of coming over on Saturday because I've got a couple of bits to do and I, I'm going to go sit with my boys, hopefully, somewhere. Um, so, um, I will arrange that for Saturday. Um, unless, if, if the sale stuff comes, then I'll sort that out. Um, so just to let you know, I'm placing my last order for March today, if anybody wants anything. And um, there's still lots in the sale. And if you're ordering online, today's the last day to use my host code. Um, I'm actually moving to a new office on Thursday. I'm not moving office building. I'm just moving across the corridor. And I'm moving to a bit of a bigger office, um, which will give me more scope. Um, which is rather exciting. Um, so it's my friend's office. I'm moving into his office. So what I'm going to do is I have run out of these champagne little rhinestones. You've got some. So I'm wondering if these pink pastel pearls would look quite nice. I think I might go with those. I'm still waiting for these for the... Um, they're still on back order. For my parcel in the post ladies who didn't get the pearls in i know donna and maria did but because they were a, a pack that i had for me um but everybody else who were posted it out or didn't get any okay so i've put three of the pink pearls on um and there we go there is our card today so let me just get that out of the way. So please do share your cards on social media or on my group. And let me show... I'm not in Farsley now, Christy. I've shut my studio down, so I'm in an office in Bradford, nearer to where I live. And... Um, but I go over to Farsley to do collection and deliveries on Friday, Fridays. So this is next week's card. Now, it will be helpful to have a green ink pad. Um, Old Olive will work, Mossy Meadow will work. Um, and it's a lovely, delicate um, card next week, which it took me forever to cut all these frames out for you. Um, <laughs> But I hope you like that one, which is next week's card. Um, another pinky one. And it will be again at 11 next week. So before I finish, I want to tell you about round 11 of Coffee and Card. Um, I mentioned it on the one on my previous YouTube, um, which is going to be the Strawberry Stamp Set. And punch. It's the first time I've included a punch. So it's really exciting. So we're going to use a sweet strawberry stamp set and the punch. And then you're going to get Poppy Parade. Ignore that. It's very well red. My Poppy Parade's at home. And you're going to get Daffodil Delight um, ink pad. You do need a green. I'm recommending Old Olive or Pear Pizzazz. You can add that on if you've not got it. Um, the details are on events.paperhaven.co.uk and we're going to do it for six weeks this one because it's a little bit more money than usual with it having a punch but as a bonus as an extra treat you're going to get these amazing strawberry and berry themed papers 12 sheets of six by six papers included as an extra bonus treat i've squirreled quite a lot of those away Oh, the board. This is a this is a board, um, Michaela. Okay, it, I'm just gonna t I'm just gonna tell you how big this one is. Hang on. It's sixty centimeters by sixty centimeters, and it's um, for taking flat lay photographs on. Um, obviously, to look like wood wood panels. Um, it's from a website called Photo Boards. If you just put that in Google Photo Boards, um, and there's various rustic ones and all different ones, you can get some smaller ones. You can get 
ones that are 40 centimetres. I had those, but I had two of them, so I had one to lay flat and one to stand at the back. This one's just a big 60 centimetre one. And I lay it on my desk for taking my photos on. Um, so, yeah. So, I can't remember. So, I was talking about the strawberries. And, yeah, it's open for booking um, now. Oh, what I wanted to say is, if you don't like the happy birthday, your sweet thing, I'm going to show you how you can cut that off or how you can mask it so that you don't have to stand with that because some people aren't a fan of that. And I've got some really cute cards um, that we're going to make in this coffee and card. This being one of them. Um, so we're going to do that one. Here's another design that we're going to do as well. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing some nice summery cards. And then after that, I will be picking a set from the brand new catalogue that comes out on the 4th of May. <laughs> So thanks for tuning in today. I've nearly kept you busy for half an hour. Um, please do share your makes on my group or on Facebook or on Instagram and tag me in. I'd love to see them. And if if you, um, as always, if anything that you make, upload it to our customer, my customer group. And I will see you hopefully on Thursday night for Paper Crafts and Piano. And... Have a really lovely Easter if we don't see you on Thursday night. Have a really lovely Easter and enjoy this lovely weather and I'll see you soon. <laughs>